What is up guys, welcome back to Bottled and Bond. Today on Bottled and Bond, we're actually going back to Michter's. This is possibly gonna be my very last review of Michter's. Now here's the thing, if you guys have been following me on my little Michter's uh, little journey, you know, if I may, uh, we first tried their regular bourbon, looking at MSRP of about maybe 50 bucks or so. So I picked up this bourbon, I have had that bourbon in the past years, years ago, and I didn't quite like it. But then again, I was not drinking whiskey neat back in those days. Now, going back to my palate, more experienced palate, I went back to that bourbon and I just didn't quite see what, what they were trying to bring, I guess. And I gave it a pretty crappy review. Now, I had a couple people both on social media and uh, in person say, hey, you should try the Sour Mash. Never seen their Sour Mash, all right? And I was looking for it, I just never got around to finding it. Now, I am a big fan of Rye's, and I did happen to find their Rye one time, and I snatched it up, and I said, you know what? Michter's is a really nice company, huge company coming out of Kentucky. So I said, let me give them uh, just one more chance. So I did, with the Rye, and it was trash. <laughs> As my son would say, trash. Now, I thought at that point, that's it. It was over, no more Michter's for me, I'm done. Once again, I had the critics coming back and say, try their Sour Mash. Luckily, I happened to come across a one bottle of Sour Mash. I was at this uh, liquor store the other day and I spotted it and I said, I'm snatching it. They actually had quite a few. I'm not a big fan of Michter's, but maybe this Sour Mash will actually change my mind. Maybe I can start doing even more reviews of Michter's. I know they still have one or two I haven't tried. But nonetheless, guys, today we're going to be having the Michter's Sour Mash. Bam! So this is the original, the Michter's Original Sour Mash Whiskey. This specific bottle is coming in at 43% alcohol by volume, making it an 86 proof. So in the back, it pretty much describes what they mean by their small batch, Sour Mash. It just pretty much tells you that uh, they're using the classic Sour Mash uh, method with uh, small amounts of previously fermented mash used as a starter for the new mash and then they tell you that it is then further mellowed by our signature filtration so like i said this is this is my third bottle okay this is my third bourbon rye and i finally got a hold of their sour mash their original sour mash this is batch number two one alpha two four one not sure if that makes any sense to anybody or if you guys have had anything from that batch picked it up ready to pop this baby open and give Michter's their very last chance at convincing my palate that they are crafting up some delicious whiskey. Nice. Oh, I like it. Mm. Right off the top, I'll tell you right now. What's that word? You know that word that I always use? What's the word? Come on, let me hear it. Classic, right? This is classic. Classic notes on the nose. You're picking up, I am picking up that honey and a little bit of uh, like a maple. You still pick up them some of that charred wood, that nutty, a little cherry, a little slightly astringent on the nose as well. You're looking at brown sugar, looking at caramel. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it's your typical classic, classic notes on the uh, nose. Anything that you'll find on a typical bourbon that's packing some sweetness, is packing some of that brown sugar, or that caramel, that uh, little bit of that spice, that syrup, the, the maple, um, along with that honey. And like I said, it's just classic. I don't wanna bore you guys with, with all the same similar notes that you tend to pick up in a classic bourbon. This one uh, being your sour mash, you pick up a little bit more of that astringent uh, smell and uh, just a couple spices here and there, maybe a little cinnamon here and there. Still remaining sweet and beautiful and delightful on the nose. Cheers. Mm. Not freaking bad, man. This is definitely way different. So what I tend to pick up on their classic bourbon was just, it was bland. You know, it had a little hint of like a honey, but there was nothing else to it. When you blend in that sour mash, that fermented mash with the new mash, it just adds more of a, uh, almost like a sour slash sweet slash herbal slash uh, spicy. And it's not really that spicy. The honey just envelops all the flavors. 
this is this is just classic man a little different as well so unlike all the other bourbons many other bourbons that i've had something about this something about that sour mash just brings in as stated before that caramel that brown sugar that honey that maple syrup that woody that oaky the nutty all together a little astringent that adds flavor to the entire it just coats your palate with a different flavor very easy and simple to drink light body on your palate you can sip on this i mean this to me personally this is a, a winter uh winter sipper i'm not saying that you can't sip this in the summer i'm just saying just it, it has a it has a almost like a blended level now flavor to where it's not too hot and it's not too simple like their other like their bourbon the regular bourbon Thank you, first of all, to those of you guys that have uh, commented on my previous videos and have said, hey, try the Sour Mask. Thank you guys. Thank you to the ones that I've actually seen and spoke to about whiskey and you guys have said, hey, try the Sour Mask. Because believe it or not, for, and especially for the MSRP, man, I don't I don't believe paying any more than maybe 50 bucks for this. It, was, it wasn't pricey, all right? Um, doesn't break the bank. Tastes freaking delicious, man. And I can't complain. I will say, Mick, there's a... Uh, Mictors really, uh, I was giving up on Mictors and this one pretty much brought it back. Highly recommend it. If you guys have had Mictors Small Batch Sour Mash from the Mictors Distillery in Kentucky, let me know in the comments below and let me know what you guys thought. Me personally, highly recommend it. Great palate, great flavor, way different. So although you get those classic bourbon notes on the nose, on your palate, you get something different and it's freaking delicious, man. Highly recommend it. Go check them out. Let me know what whiskeys you think I should be reviewing next here on Bottled and Bond. I'm Ozzy. This is the Michter's Small Batch Sour Mash Bourbon. The classic Sour Mash Bourbon from Michter's Distillery in Kentucky. And this is Bottled and Bond. Cheers.